Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Insomnia, the Ark. Alright, so we're super excited to get started today. Uh, yeah, we're going on an adventure. Yeah, we're gonna go talk adventure. to the captain in his office. If we can figure out what everything means. So, so yeah, a lot of stuff is not localized. It is a Russian developer. Oh god, your face. <laughs> That's why I turned it so that we could see it, see that gorgeous face. You like that face, like, don't you? Like, is his chin, like, extended with his soul patch? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of weird. Makes it longer. Alright, so more and more we discover how crazy our fucking character is. He's bananas, man. He's a little thrown off. That's okay to see things. I'm not here to judge. If, if you happen to see things in real life, uh, then I'm not here to judge you. It, Thanks it seems like, that. yeah, Jinx, I was talking to you. <laughs> I was directed at you. It seems like uh, we're back in that city that, and this city looks exactly the same as when we left. That's what I'm trying to say. Does it? It does to me. It looks different. I mean, slightly. There's some reused. It's a bit dirtier. Does it look dirtier? Yeah. Oh, oh. uh oh. Oh no, we really are crazy. Well, it's just a little oh, bit you're of hungry. trauma. Oh, we are hungry, well, aren't we? You can't well, blame the guy. I get that way when I don't eat. I do too now. It I, I feels like that comes with age or something like that. Like, as you get older, you start having issues. Lots of issues. Issues of plenty. And one of the problems I've been having is, yeah, is if I don't eat... God damn it. Like, I just fucking was in here. Yeah, but if I don't eat, then yeah, I start getting, like, really, really sick. Before, I used to go, like, forever without eating. And you would just have a, a grumbling tummy. And everyone starts looking like a taco. <laughs> For Jinx, they all start looking <laughs> like a taco. For me, they all look like a big, fat, juicy steak. It's kind of very cartoony. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like, like a big... Like the dog. Yeah, yep, just like a big old, fat, juicy steak. I ate a steak last night. Good God. I don't know if you guys have, wherever you happen to live, if you have a Outback Steakhouse. Um, I, lo I love their steaks, but they've gotten so expensive. You can't afford them anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what happened there, man. Like they are way more uh, costly than like a Texas Roadhouse or something like and that. Their sides kind of suck. Their sides suck ass, and that's why I'm comparing them to Texas Roadhouse. Is like they might have better steaks than Texas Roadhouse, but like as far as everything else goes, they're worse. Like so, what is that bread? Oh, the brown <laughs> bread. I don't know, man. You know, some people love that brown bread. There's Dude. a ton of people to talk to, guys. Did we ever tell the story about the brown bread? We've probably told it before, but I'm sure the, the people here on this video have not heard it. Our first date, we went to an Outback Steakhouse, and I had never been, and there was, you know, the brown bread, uh -huh. and I poked it, and then we told the waiter we didn't want it, and then they gave it to another table with the poke in it. <laughs> yeah, we watched them give it to another fucking it table. It was so gross. Yeah. So I'm guessing that bread came from another the table where somebody Probably. poked it. Like, what's this brown shit they put on our table? And you know the brown bread isn't terrible, guys. It's it really... tastes like they added more sugar to it because people were bitching about how gross it was. It's not comparable to Texas Roadhouse's bread, though. All right, so there's a lot of, like, quests or <laughs> something Texas we can talk Roadhouse's to. Texas Roadhouse's bread isn't bread, it's butter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people we can talk to. I'm just trying to get straight to the captain, though, and I was able to find my way to him after wandering around for long enough. Let's talk to the captain. Does he not look different to you? He does. He looks yeah. sad. He looks a little different to me. I don't know. His, uh... What's going on with his cheek? I you think see he's that? hungry. Is that just a shadow, or...? He's starving. Oh. It looked like it's black and blue or something. Somebody cooler, punched him. Didn't he? he did. I had more respect for him before. Almost like his face changed a bit. Uh, so the captain looks up at you. Uh, looks you up and down as you salute. At ease. Oh, you're the captain. At ease, soldier. Let's not waste time on formalities. I've already read your personal case file. Oh, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> that thing you read about the lube and the dildo, don't don't concern yourself with that. That didn't really happen. It's rumors. What do people normally say in such cases? They oh, deny yeah. it. They deny it. <laughs> Welcome to the Ordnance Military Post D10123. This place is more often referred to as the Vulture's Nest, though. I'll start my presentation by humbly introducing myself, even though we've met before. I'm commander of the 52nd Operational Company. 
You've been drafted just in time. We've been a real mess for two weeks now. The sector has been a powder keg since the state of emergency was imposed. I'm guessing you've already figured out what we're going to do here in the near future. In broad terms, Captain. Our only hope that I won't have to guard a warehouse of decommissioned cleaning robots, Captain. Ooh, that's exactly what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna say that, because then he'll make me do it. Allow me to explain. The committee imposed a state of emergency after the turmoil in Herb. The locals are rather troubled. Where there are no military posts, crowds of street urchins have began to gather, tearing down everything in their way. Street urchins, huh? All right, Aren't so... Aren't those children? <laughs> I thought so, too. And I've always heard street urchins. I always thought little skinny kids with raggedy clothes and dirt all over their face. You pick but, your pockets. Yeah, and then try and pick your pocket. Or chuck rocks at you from up the top of the, uh, the buildings and... And then steal your shit after they smash your head in. Yes. Uh, rival? <laughs> yeah, well, there was nothing to say. Rival interrupts you mid-sentence with a calm gesture. He continues to talk after a short pause. I was looking forward to interrupting you. <laughs> <laughs> Our current objective is to facilitate the committee's search for revolutionaries and to ensure safety within the sector, quote, unquote. Your personal objective is to follow orders in full obedience and at the same time learn how to use your own brains in my absence. Sometimes these may be hard to combine, but you'll have to learn to do it. Do I make myself clear? Affirmative, Captain. In any case, experience will quickly set things right. A few words about your living arrangements, you'll be provided with a bed, a locker, and a set of personal belongings. You now have three minutes to chat with me on friendly vetting. This means that you can ask me questions without adding my rank after every word. This is an order. Okay. All right. Ching. So, <laughs> uh, we can say, let's talk. We're not going to read all these. What is it? Let me, tell me about the situation. Uh, and we're just going to kind of go through these so you guys can see them if you want. Uh, but we'll be here all day talking. This guy, he's, he's rather talkative. I thought that he was more of a quiet dude. Uh, Once you get him on his own turf, he really opens up. So yeah, they come out of the whole uniforms dirty, so to speak. Uh, so far, they just give orders and take uh, smoke breaks. Do they even have the authority to give orders? That's right, pal. Apparently they do. <laughs> uh, what do they do here? Searching for renegade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's kind of go through this, guys. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we'd be here all day. What are the renegades? Well, they oppose the regime. Yeah. And, uh, that's quite clear. Tell me about the reservation. And state of emergency. What do you mean, clan? Oh, there are see. This is yeah. I'm I'm glad we did not read this. This is longer than three minutes. Mm -hmm. Move on, soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Friendly time is over. All right, so I don't. I don't want to know more. All right, there we go. <laughs> oh, there's that was just one yeah. branch. Wow. Good question. Well, that's one of the things about. Uh, I'm done. He's All right, not so I've got a mission you. for you, Zone B10. It's just request reinforcements. A, a crowd of getters has gathered around their outpost men, and the deliveries of food supplies be resumed. Lieutenant Yarva requests immediate support from the neighboring garrison. I'm about to send you to coordinates block B10-2, and we're going to report to Varva. Uh, but that's one of the things when they have a, a text-based dialogue system is that they can just bombard you with <laughs> with a uh, text. Uh, unlike uh, voice acting, where they gotta pay somebody to read that shit. They don't this have guy's to pay me, I'll do it for free. Yeah, Jinx really <laughs> wants to get into the voice acting. Uh, so this is, uh, this guy's name is Payment. Okay. Oh, excuse oh. me. Ooh, That's sorry. a lady. He's like, she's telling you, you don't look so good. I'm like, we thought you were a dude. <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's get the fuck that out of here. guy's working out. Gotta work on your fitness. You gotta work on them muscles. So, yeah, we've been, this is gossip, or gossip, excuse me, but I'm sure that's why he's called that gossip. He's got cool clothes. So, is, this one's ours. Oh, cool. And this is all of our stuff that we can take. So, we will. And I oh, guess we'll shit. take... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take everybody's clothes. We're not going to, because I actually saw a, although I'm really tempted to, because that this this weapon here looks pretty cool. Do we have a, a weapon yet? Like a... Uh, a melee? Yeah, a melee weapon? Yeah. Oh, uh, we have a hammer. So there was a uh, loading screen that said that anybody can leave their locker unlocked and nobody will st take from them because, you know, this place, we're all like bestest friends. You're bros, man. We're bros. 
So I just can't, I just can't take something from from that guy after reading that. If I hadn't read that, then maybe, because <laughs> I wouldn't have thought about it. Fucking near range. It's useless to try and clean yourself up here. What do you want anyway? Do I look like someone who wants to talk? Where's his locker? <laughs> yeah, I want to steal from Darcy. Uh, as far as I understand, you and I both took the same transport machine to get to the nest. Yes, I was transferred from the border. All right. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. You're a dick. All right, let's talk to the quartermaster, because I'm hoping he gives me some food. Uh, so judging by the fact that the quartermaster is rolling what is probably his tenth cigarette, his mind is definitely not it's occupied weed. with matters of supply. Yeah, it probably is weed. Come in, don't be shy. I got any business? Are you here to chat? I need some supplies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we can Oh, we can look at that mask. Them. That's cool. Oh, that okay. is a pretty cool mask. Yeah, I like it a lot as well. I wonder how much it is. Oh, it's average price is 3600 That's a low price. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll buy that today, Anything Jinx. Anything to cover that face up. Biostim, can you <laughs> stop talking shit about my face? Give me a break here, man. Uh, we need to, like, sell some of this shit that we got. We've got just, like, tons of garbage, garbage. that we're never going to use to craft anything. Oh, uh, we need chemicals. Do we? Yeah. For what? We're going to make some meth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're never going to make anything, Jinx. Maybe. Uh, so we'll find a chem station. Which bullets do we need for our gun, the 7.92? That sounds about right. So that's 18.5. Uh, that's 10 millimeter. 9 millimeter. All right. There's a lot of different types of bullets in the game. Well, that's good to know. Uh, there's grenades. I like the grenades. I like one size fits all ammo. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the price? Oh. Not a fan of realism. Everything is so expensive in this fucking game, man. They have serious inflation issues. Alright, so we're not gonna buy shit. Uh what deal? We didn't have a deal. Is there anything that we can sell, Jinx DC? Is there anything that you're no, like No, we need everything. We need it all. Alright. Cancel the deal. I gotta go. Well, why didn't he give me For real? Can I get some food or something? No, you gotta yeah. starve. All right. So let's uh go to our objective. I don't actually know how to get there. So let's hit our map up. Where's Isn't Tintu? this all? Oh, okay, it's not in Russian. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right, a so bookstore. A, book store. a pastry shop. What? Uh, hell yeah. Character. So. Mysterious character. It's just character. I oh, know that's actually takes you to the character no. screen. <laughs> <laughs> we can't see what this is. I mean, we are a mysterious character. If I did it, no. Can you drag the map? No, yeah. can't move it. It doesn't well, look like there's any way to see what's up there. So it is a mysterious character. Yeah, it's something mysterious. Uh, so we just went into here. There's our locker, quartermaster, captain. Uh, so there's the garage. We went from there. So we haven't gone this way. And this is the way to get to the stores. All right, these are all exits. All right, so let's just go back. Can I get through that door? It looks like it's open now. I vote so, for the pastry shop. Pastry shop? That's where I'm going, James. Where, where else would I go? Donuts. Yeah, yeah, where else would we go? I need a snack. So we go down to the city streets, down with the commoners. I guess it does look like they peasants. cleaned it up a bit. Or they're trying to. Are they? It doesn't look like anybody's <laughs> trying to do anything, James. They at least put it in piles. This place is fucking filthy. So is this the bookstore? This is the bookstore. Oh. So we can buy books, maybe. It's like, <sighs> this is a bookstore. Okay, well, we can look at his books here. I wonder what the books do. Are they just for reading, or do they actually, like, improve some skills or something? I think there's, like, an achievement for reading so many books. Oh, I but, I mean, is that, like... I don't know if does anything, though. The only reason why you do it, or... Maybe. Do the books have any kind of utility? Make you smart. All right, well, we're not gonna... We're not gonna buy them, because we don't know what they do. Watch out for that puddle. Don't worry, there's no... There's no puddle animation, Jinx. Look, no puddle physics. You don't know what that is. We can just walk across it. It's piss. Of course it's piss. If you see a puddle in the middle of the street, it can be nothing but piss. I was thinking it was diarrhea. Some, what? Diarrhea? <laughs> is this the pastry store? It looks oh, like a pastry a store to me. a pastry store. That's my kind of place. Those look more like cheese There are burgers. no pastries. I see burgers. Yeah, there's and... not a single pastry. This can't possibly. This it's has like got to be the meat shop. Goat balls. 
It's got to be the meat shop, right? Maybe that's what they mean by pastry shop. Second one pastry. All right, so this is not what we thought it was. It's a meat place. Pastry means something different in Russian. I, I don't know. It's goat balls. Goat balls. <laughs> <laughs> so let's... Oh, he doesn't have shit. I guess we'll buy one of his waters. Because we uh, only have one left. Let's buy this over here. Uh, give me your water. For 400. So expensive. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can kind of uh, sell him some capacitators. Yeah. That didn't give us anything. It really didn't. All I right. would think that those would be worth more. You would think so. Like, you can do shit with that, But man. you know what? We can get them just about anywhere, so I think that's why it wasn't worth much. He's like, I'm a shitty pastry chef. What am I going to do with the capacitator? All right. So what's this way? Is this another exit? The stairs. Maybe take us to the elevator or something. I don't think that door is upper. upper no, light. it's you no. Know, you can tell because when you uh, look at the doors, you uh, see the little light. light. Oops, there's a guy I just okay, ran into cool. his ass. I'm over here, like just behind him, like, hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna put my hand on his shoulder, like, hey, are you uh, you free right now? <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is. I have no idea what this place is. It's stairs. All right, another just here. free ghetto. Oh, we got a microchip device. Snatch that shit up. Oh, this gets us. Oh, oh, back to the garage. Back to the garage. Okay. Place all goes around all smartly. I want to drive. I don't think we can drive over there, Jinx. Yeah, probably not. That would be cool, though. I can actually push a button, Jinx. Whoa! What? I don't know what it's doing, but. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> it made us sound like it was doing something. Is it? Huh. I have no idea what it just did. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's calling the elevator. Oh, okay. Because it wasn't button. there already. All right, so we're going to take the elevator back up because this is not the way we're supposed to go. Actually, I have no idea where we're, gonna, where we're supposed to go. Maybe we should take a look at the map again. Did you see any, like, objectives on the map? It didn't say block 10-2. Did it say where we needed to, to You're like, go? Rival told you, but you didn't listen. I wasn't listening. <laughs> I didn't pay any attention to that dude when he was talking. Uh, let's take a look at the log. Uh, so, I'll pass uh, 10, B10-2 10 at the border of Sector B is surrounded by protesters. So we need to find out where that is. Let's see if we can't find an outpost. We haven't gotten down here yet. Yeah, we need to go to the exit. Yeah, I guess we're going to go down to the or exit. Or up there to that strange place we can't read. Yeah, true. That would uh, be let's, where we had to go. Let's just go to the exit and then hope that that's uh, where we need to go. And we haven't gone that way yet. So I would assume it would be the way to go. Oh, he's so tired. He's so tired. I'm feeling kind of tired right now, honestly. Me too. Yeah, it's we, been really, like, gloomy. Well, that and when we worked out last night, and that shit kicked my ass, man. We're like 3 o'clock in the morning. Or, yeah, I guess if you want to be more accurate, it was 3 o'clock in the morning, Jinx. I wasn't going to tell everybody our business and shit. <laughs> Put it out there that we are. Whoa! Ghost! Holy shit! Ah, whoa, yeah. Those go. Oh, money. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx sees money goes. and she's like, I don't think that's money. I think those are like ration cans, empty oh, ration sucks. cans or something like that. Uh, so let's let's go this way. Uh, but yeah, we worked out at three in the morning and that was because Jinx took a nap. Uh, leave location. Guy had to work all day. Uh -huh. So Jinx took a nap. She was gonna just take a couple hour nap, but I uh, ended up doing some recording and stuff and editing. And then before we knew it, it was like two o'clock in the morning. Well, Jinx up like, you know, you still want to go to the the gym? Sure, just let me get my bearings. <laughs> so where do we need to go? Checkpoint. Okay, there it is. All right, so we're going to travel there. Hopefully we don't get stopped along the way. Oh, yeah. Or hopefully it doesn't crash. Oh, yeah, true. Hopefully it doesn't crash. We had a crash um, not the last time, but the time before that. So far, so good. I want to go over to this area here. I know, it's all here. sparkly. Yeah, I want to see what the fuck that is. I wonder how much of this area will open up. Will we be traveling around this up here, over here? Who knows? I know it's supposed to be a longer game, uh, so let's stop. All right, guys. So we need to find Lieutenant What's Vargo or Vargas or something like that. Yarvis. Oh, it was Yarvis. That was close. It's better than What's-Her-Face. 
That's everyone. Oh. I mean. Everyone is a what's her face. People are protesting. Who with flames? They're, yep, they're mad because there was a racist ad, or what they called racist. Uh, the goddamn left, man. Uh, I don't think there's any black people in this game, so or brown people. You know, no. Or you, yellow, well, or red, or pink, or blue. I don't know because when you had the the created character, you could. You could pick any race. You could have been the only POC in the game. <laughs> you don't think that there's any... No. Huh. Well, I guess I haven't seen any non-white person in this game yet. Alright, well maybe the racism doesn't exist, so yeah, I don't know what the fuck they're protesting about then. What else would you protest about? Maybe oh, they're having a party. It's sexism, Jinx. Oh, uh, There's okay. clear sexism. Here's Yarva. Although maybe not, because you got women in all kinds of positions of power. Yeah, but she's just enjoying the show. So, Lydonia Yarva sadly looks at the crowd without turning her head. We remember the dead sky. Reporting is ordered by Captain Rival. Are you going to be the woman? <laughs> no, I was. that was not the woman. You can be the woman, Jinx. No, I'm just saying. You can be the woman. <laughs> I, I think you would you'd probably We remember. Do Things can go straight to hell then. Any day here, I can't be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> the slum scum are all hyped up and won't pipe down. Damn, call them the slum scum. That's rough. That's catchy. Headquarters has ordered us to use weapons as a last resort. It seems that the time will arrive soon enough, though. What do they want? They're hungry, but they won't be getting any food now. Herb has been feeding these freeloaders practically for free, solely to keep some kind of order in the troubled zone B-27. However, after the terrorists attack and limb, no one will be going easy on them. An historic moment, now torching the slums, is perfectly legal. Alright, so what changed after the terrorist attack, B-20? What are your orders? That's what I really need to know, <laughs> Lieutenant. Everything's in order here, but there's something else. We need to see what's going on in lower tunnels. We didn't have time to seal off the passengers. I've already passengers? sent... Yeah, <laughs> passengers? <laughs> <laughs> I've already sent Sergeant Krez out there, and he's going to need help. The entrance to the tunnels is through that door on the right. The soldier will release the lock now. If you encounter any resistance, you can shoot to kill. Yes, sir. I just called her a sir. <laughs> she probably prefers it that way. Probably. All right. I just want to take a look at what the situation is. All right. So they're, they're chucking Molotov cocktails over here. But they're not doing very good. No, they're chucking it in the same location every single time. <laughs> okay. I guess we're going this way. Through the door. She said we could shoot to kill. Okay. Battle's still not available yet. Alright, so we're just not, we're not in the combat zone yet. Maybe once we go down these stairs. Because uh, I want to change my weapon up or reload my weapon. That's right. That's one of our weapons. It's is, uh, nice and quiet down here. Alright, so all. is combat available? It is. Alright, so let's go ahead and reload our gun. And then kill everyone. And then kill everybody. <laughs> uh, so I don't actually have... Oh, I do have some bullets to this one. Okay. All right, well, we'll use this one for right now. And I'm probably just going to walk around with the gun out. It's the only safe yeah. way. All right, we're going to take all these. Ooh, we got a grenade, Jinx. Nice. We got a grenade. All right, so let's go ahead and equip our grenade, if I can find it. Right, yeah. And what are these again? The bio stems? They're for HP as well. Dreads. All right, so we'll equip those too. I don't think there's anything else. We have a book. Do we have a book? Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, no, that's probably the chip thing. Where? It's down there. It's in Braille. Oh, the microchip device. <laughs> uh, oh, Jinx is all smacking the desk and shit. Are you mad? Yeah. You mad, bro? I like books, man. Jinx gets excited when she sees books. books. Sergeant Krez. Oh, okay. Good what thing the we fuck didn't is he shoot doing? Him. Oh, it looks like they're all injured and shit. That's it? I thought the lieutenant would send me at least five soldiers. We're worth five. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, I won't insist that I'm worth ten men. It would be great if you came for at least one of them. You see, we have a... Sergeant nods toward the soldier lying on the ground. What is the plan, Sergeant? My people have gone ahead to inspect the tunnels. Go and find them, and I'll deal with this guy in the meantime. You fucking coward. <laughs> He's going to stay here with the injured guy while he sends all his people ahead. What happened to leading from the front? Uh, so the sergeant spits. Went to take a leak and stepped on a mine. No idea where it came from. Either it was left over from the old times or someone has been in these tunnels before us. I requested reinforcements for this for this very reason. So they're not even fighting anybody. Yeah, he stepped on a mine. Wouldn't his foot be blown off? Or, or something? Wiener, at least. Yeah, or his wiener. Oh. 
I just did the same thing. Well, can I come over here and sit down too? Because <laughs> I just stepped on one. Well, shucks. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to use our bio stim. Yeah. Uh, so that is. The mic is in the way. <laughs> key seven. Yeah, the mic's in the way, so I can't can't see that far on the. Be very the careful. Numbers. All right, so I probably didn't need to use something like that because I think it's probably better than what we need. Magnetic key, we don't have that. All right, so... Mines and shit. Did you see the mine? Oh, there it oh, is. Oh, okay. I got it. Oh, oh, man. Oh, no. What do we have to do? We have to find a hidden spot on the circle by turning the slider with the mouse and clicking. The closer the frequency of the displayed waves, the closer the target spot. I have no idea how to do this. You gotta turn the circle -y thingy. It's not doing anything. Oh. oh, do you gotta let oh, it go? Yeah. Oh, okay, and then click on it to try to get it. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh. Oh, oh it blows up if you mess it up. Oh, no. Alright, so maybe we shouldn't disarm the mines then. We'll just leave them alone. Yeah, that'd probably be for the best. I'm gonna have... You might not be able to sneak around them. Alright, I'm gonna have Jinx hit. Yeah, maybe not. Oh. Oh, you did. Well, I did. Fantastic. Just barely. I'm gonna have Jinx hit the seven from now on. Okay. You want me to do it? Yeah, we should probably heal up. I'm the healer. <laughs> Jinx will be our healer. I'm so tempted to try and disarm it again. Now that we know how to do it. I don't know how to do it though. You just click around the outside of the circle to try to line up the lines, the frequency waves. You gotta click though. Oh, well how do you know? Oh, you, you gotta click it when clicks. it's. Oh. I see. But when you run out of time, does it blow up? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. And the, I think the time goes by worse. Yeah, but you, it's not... God damn it, I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was never lined up. There was no point where it was lined up right. Because you got to click around the outside of the circles. I, but every time you click, you can't just be clicking, Jinx, because every time you click, it uh, reduces your time. Where's everybody going, guys? Oh, we are so injured. Is he a bad guy? Oh, those are bad oh, guys. Oh, those are bad guys. Oh. <laughs> I'm just standing here looking at them. I yeah. thought they were friendlies. Didn't he say he sent like a bunch of soldiers down here, like a squad? Yeah, but they had like unfriendly faces. Luckily, <laughs> it's probably good that we are loading up again because we got blown up like three times, guys. Uh, so this time, I think we're just going to avoid the mines. Unless Jinx thinks that we can, we I can do them. I don't think that you can. You should oh, are you fucking yeah. kidding me? All right, so we're gonna want to like great. we're gonna want to reload a, a farther back auto save because uh, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to win the combat against two when we have zero health. Uh, I guess I could eat the food to heal up, but at least the loading doesn't take that long. Yeah, the loading's really quick. The uh, auto saves are pretty generous for the most part. Uh, so that's always good because nobody wants to replay a game over and over again, or at least I don't want to replay uh, sections over and over if I can avoid it. Healy stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and place all of our, our gear again. We're just gonna place this one there this time, and this one here, and this one here. So which one of these two heals more? All right, the bio stim does. All right, so let's do it this way. So Jinx can hit that one. Because that seven is under the mic. I can't see where the fuck it I'm is. I'm going to hit all the buttons. you going to hit all the buttons? You want to do the grenades too, Jinx? Yeah. Jinx wants to play. Explosions. All right, so let's just go through this again. You didn't say anything interesting. Well, my thing is... is mine. All right, so I'm going to try one mine. And if I can't do Don't it... do it, dog. Then I'm not going to... I just wish there was a way to run. See, it just doesn't look like it's changing. Because you got to click it for it to change. But it takes See? time every yeah. time you do that. Oh, you almost got it. Oh. Ready. Good job. All right, we did it. And that gives you explosive charge and simple parts. All right, I see how it works now. All right, and then that just turns it into something you can loot from. Oh, there's another one right there. I is think that there is. a dead one? Yeah, it looks like a dud. Oh. Or something. <laughs> That's fucked up. All right, do you that think we should? Not. Do you think we should disarm it again? No. Just skip them I all? I think you were lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I know how to do it. Like, before I really didn't, I had no idea how to do it. We could always just do this last one right here. Let's just do this one. If you want to. I got this, Jinx. 
Oh, hurry. Oh, snap. Oh. Ah, oh, damn. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Even you wanna, though I You want to hit seven, happen. Jinx? Our healer. Sorry, I touched you with my clammy hand. <laughs> <laughs> you have a clammy ass hand. All right, so I didn't down my coffee, so my basal temperature is <laughs> through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go fight these guys. Uh, let's go into sneak. Sneaky sneak. And right, grenades. You let me know. I'm not checking the grenade. <laughs> I almost pushed it. <laughs> <laughs> you almost checked it. All right. So let them see us because there's no other way to do this. Oh, they seem like they're really good, don't yeah, they? Yeah, because he's a renegade. Oh, are you oh, serious? All, you stand all right, up. we gotta stand up. Like a man. Fight this man like a man. Ah, uh, he ain't shit. Ha ha ha! All right, so there's one more. We're gonna take his hat. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there and steal his shit. And then everyone will think we're a renegade. And then we can be friends. I don't think that that's a mechanic in the game, Jinx. <laughs> I don't know, that could be wrong. Oh, he's got a renegade hat. All right, so let's steal all their stuff. Come on. What? Aww. He had rusty plates on him? What about all that other stuff? What about the hat or For the real? gun? I don't like when or games do that. Oh, there's, oh, there's nothing. over here. I think he's a friendly. I don't think he oh, is. Oh, nope. <laughs> He's a pussy. Is He's what a pussy. He is. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you shot him while he's hiding. All right, lockpicks and handmade bullets. What is he? <laughs> what? <laughs> Your leg was flipping the fuck out. He had. He actually had he some had use Elvis on him. syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an explosive uh, charge. Oh, they're gonna bring. I down think the they're. Tunnel. Yeah, I think they're gonna blow this whole place up. I was gonna say shoot it, but I, I guess we're not supposed to destroy things. Jinx, it's an explosive. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna blow up the whole tunnel. Who the fuck shoots an explosive when you're standing next to it? I do. <laughs> and that's why you would die in this situation, Jinx. Yeah, but I hate when games don't represent, like, how are you gonna have all this clothing on and then have these weapons and then I can't get access to any of them? I, I just don't like when games do that. Like, they, if somebody has something on them, I should be able to pick it up. Or you need to have, like, at least some kind of oh, excuse. You for why? Yeah, I do. Oh, I just didn't do. want to hit him, shoot him from this far away because I'll gotcha. miss him. Mostly miss him. All right, some more mines that way. I guess we'll come shoot this guy. Oh, there's a lot of guys. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh I got jumped. Damn. What? He snuck up behind you. Oh. Some bitch. God damn it. That sucks. Um, yeah, you could have, like, a reason, like, why you can't pick up certain guns, like, because they have those, uh, recognition locks or whatever. Or they're heavy and they're weak. I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like stupid reasoning to me, but, um. Uh, I knew you'd have to fight those guys again. Yeah, we gotta fight these guys again. That sucks. What we need to do is save it after we defeat these guys. All right, you ready, Jinx? I'm ready. Luckily, they don't seem to be able to shoot when you're shooting at them. They're too bad, yeah. busy like staggering and shit. <laughs> They're like, oh. All right, so we're gonna get this guy killed. Headshot. Headshot. All right, so let's get this guy killed. The coward. <laughs> Although I don't know that he's actually an enemy. Yeah, he is. Oh wait. Nope, he's not. I just shot him. I didn't have to. <laughs> hey, don't I end up here in an accident? Don't shoot, man. Don't shoot. You understand what this sounds like, don't you? Listen, there's something more important now. Don't touch the explosive, okay? These are not your usual makeshift mines. You only have one attempt, and if you fail, you'll blow up the entire outpost. Oh, yes. I can see you've really outdone yourself. What a stupid response. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm right. Touching. All right, so we're not going to kill that guy. So we can save us some, some bullets this time. I guess there's that. Yeah. Cause we're gonna need them because there's a fuck ton of dudes. There's a fuck ton of dudes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do a, a save real quick. Save over our vulture's nest slot. And then, you know what? Actually, it looks like it's the end of the episode. So this is a fantastic place to end, guys. So we're gonna end right before we get into the battle. Uh, hope that you guys have enjoyed the episode if you did make sure you leave that like subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and also leave a comment we love talking to you guys read and reply to all comments and thanks for watching